Well, hello, and uh, I want to thank the Malvern and Hot Spring County Chamber of Commerce for this opportunity to address the Leadership Forum. Uh, I am Kenny Black. I'm the past president of the Hot Spring County Historical Society. Uh, that organization was founded in 1969. Uh, we have an annual publication that we've uh, published since then called The Heritage. It's a really great book, about 200 pages of good history, historical facts of Hot Spring County. Uh, our mission as an organization is to find, capture, and preserve the history of Hot Spring County. It is amazing to me how much history is out there in Grandma's cedar chest, uh, and we just don't know it. So when you find things like that, let us know, and we'd love to have it. November the 2nd, 1829, Hot Spring County became a county in the Arkansas Territory. So as you can do a little bit of math there, in 2020, we celebrate 191st birthday of Hot Spring County. People moved here with whole families, and uh, we have records of marriages as early as 1825. So given that, uh, more children came along with those other families that were born here, and so the need of schools became very apparent. Uh, the first school was in Rockport in 1832. Uh, the teacher was Samuel Alexander Emerson. We also find a school founded in 1840 by W.T. Moorhead, and that was on Blakely Creek off of Military Road between Oak Grove and Social Hill. Dr. Lorenzo Gibson <clears throat> was also an early settler in the Rockport area, and the Gibson Cemetery is the oldest cemetery in the county. And just a little factoid, one of Dr. Gibson's overnight guests, and he was famous for his overnight guests, very social guy, was none other than Edgar Allan Poe. That's kind of neat. So to, we're, we're gathered here today and we're gonna discuss education in Hot Spring County. That is gonna be our main focus. And I've entitled this, So You Think You Have It Tough. And I think you'll figure out why that title is that. So where did we start when we start looking for schools? Well, we start with what are the communities? Well, you may or may not know that, I mean, we have found 33 community names of communities that do not exist anymore in Hot Spring County. We're, essentially, most, most communities have a school. So how did we start the, the search? Now, I just have to show you this. <clears throat> the Gettysburg Address was started on the back of an envelope. Now, I'm not trying to compare myself with Abraham Lincoln, but this is the back of an envelope, and we just started writing down names of schools, and we started running out of space and realized that we really needed to go to a larger format than the back of an envelope. Some of the sources that we have looked at are the copies of the Heritage, and we have uh, 47 volumes of those now. The um, Malvern Daily Record put out a history of Hot Spring County many years ago. We have the album of yesteryear document that we published. There are school reunion records. We have found play programs of old school plays, school annuals or yearbooks, great source of information. And of course, in the back of those books, you see all the advertisements of the day. The Southern Standard was a, a newspaper down in Clark County that covered a lot of Hot Spring County news. There are superintendent reports, bus route reports, uh, Hot Spring County court records, a significant source of information, family pictures, educator correspondence, uh, old phone co-op books, and teacher contracts. We found teacher contracts. So slowly, as our adventurous uh, first families came to Hot Spring County and started settling the area, Communities developed like Rockport, uh, Magnet, Francois, Midway, Brown Springs, Pleasant Hill, etc. They have lots of lots of communities. Small churches accommodated uh, a teacher. In some places, we had one-room schoolhouses uh, started popping up. So our teachers, with very little pay, I might add, arrived early to get the pot-bellied stove lit up so that you could get the room warm. We didn't have air conditioning. We didn't have heaters back in the day. Uh, they, there might have been a well to provide some drinking water for the kids. There was no playground. 
there might have been a primer, there might have been some slate and some chalk if the families provided that because there was no education system to provide those to the students. There was probably not an outhouse to begin with, but they later had those. Sanitation was a, really a tough situation. And you would have students from five to 13 years of age who would come between plantings and harvest in the spring and the winter time uh, to get their education. So education got its initial foothold in Hot Spring County. When schools first popped up, the children's families had to pay to go to school. So it was called a subscription school. If you had no money, your child didn't go to school. You know, I guess your option was to learn at home. Um, so in 1865, and we're gonna skip forward past the Civil War, um, we had some very learned scholars who moved up to Malvern from Old Tulip by the name of Thrasher and Leeper. Um, they established private subscription schools in the Malvern area uh, for the families of people that could pay. Uh, we also had colored schools established. Now that was the term of the day. Colored schools were established to educate the children of freed slaves in the Saginaw area, Witherspoon, Francois, Gifford, and Pearl, and of course Malvern. In due course, uh, more schools were established to serve the eight to 10 mile diameter uh, of the county area so that no child would walk more than four or five miles to school. Back in the day, walking four to five miles to school was kind of expected. There were no buses at that time. And by the way, when buses did finally arrive, they were Model T trucks that had benches in the back of the truck with some chicken wire on the side to keep the children from falling out of the truck. And of course, they were exposed to the elements going and coming. As a state, Arkansas was very late in the game formalizing an education system, and we still had subscription schools well into the 1900s. After 1900, Hot Spring County birthed scores of schools due to little population areas that, that popped up. Today, many of those schools no longer exist due to consolidation efforts, which occurred over a, several decades of time. Uh, some of those schools of the past, and I'm not going to give you a complete list, but just a, here's a few. Old Field, Lono, Damascus, California School Number One, and California School Number Two, and they were not close together. Harp, Central, Ebenezer, Hickory Grove, Cooper, Butterfield, First and Second Little Hope School. I think it's sad to see the school is named Little Hope. It can only be worse if it was the Little Hope Baptist Church. And one of those did exist. Jones Mill, Gifford, Owl Hollow, Owl Hollow Shady Grove, Bug Scuffle, which is my favorite name. I have a vision of two doodle bugs in the same hole, Bug Scuffle. Now, if you're under 60, that may not make sense to you, but ask, ask an old person what that means. Big Creek, Clear Creek, McGovern, Beaton, DeRoach, Holly Bluff, Possum Trot, of course, that's my second favorite school name, Marcus, Lambert, Burnett, Lone Hill, Hawk, Owl, Oak Bower, Memdag, and many others. Today, we have five school districts staffed by quality educators in clean, wonderfully heated and cooled facilities providing nutritious meals, safe buses, school security, et cetera. Education in Hot Spring County has come a long, long way since 1830, in the 1830s, but I told you about the buses. Uh, they came along in about the 20s and that was kind of tough, but the children were happy not to walk. We have endured a long, slow process. So the question is, have we arrived? And I, you could say we have or we have not. But I believe it's important for us to understand and appreciate the hardships and the process Hot Spring County education has experienced to get to where we are today. I'd like to show you these charts here. Now, th I'm not going to apologize. This is a work in progress. What we started doing, once we realized that the um, back of the envelope wasn't big enough, this butcher chart here has Malvern at the top of it. 
So all of these schools that you see that are listed here are schools that no longer exist because they consolidated into what we have today, the Malvern school system. So uh, I'm not gonna dwell too much on all the names there, but you can see there's a lot of. Washita, across the river, Friendship, Donaldson, Witherspoon, those all came together into a single school. Magnet Cove, lots and lots of schools in the Magnet Cove area, which I believe was the smallest school district in the county. It was only 43 square miles, but look at all the schools that they had over there, just because you didn't want to walk more than four or five miles to school. This is the Glen Rose area. There's Bug Scuffle right there. Um, you can ignore the part at the bottom. That's our, our, an adjoining county. And then last but not least, the Bismarck area. Lots of schools. The Bismarck area was the largest school district in the county. So you had a lot more schools there to, to consolidate. So the, the Hot Spring County Historical Society plans to publish a book with the names of these schools, and we're almost up to 200 schools. That's hard to imagine, but 200 schools uh, that we have had in the county sometime in the past. Um, so we covet your input. We covet your information. We love to get pictures, uh, stories. Uh, don't throw things away. Let us let, bring those to the Historical Society. Our phone number is 229 one six zero zero we're not staffed every day because everybody's a volunteer but you can leave a message we will get back to you uh it's been my pleasure to share this with you and uh if you have any questions well you can't ask them because this is a video so have a great day